This testimony is about me getting a job, but more importantly, it's about God's work in my life in the six months leading up to that point. So in 2017, I had finished uni and I was looking for a job. So I was actively seeking a job, but wasn't getting any responses. I was really praying for a job and I was like, God, please, I need this. I had other people praying for me um, and I was very specific in my prayer. I was saying, God, I want a good job with a good salary. I wanted good people around me, good influencers. I wanted a good manager and the list kind of went on and on. I was really praying in faith. I was like, God, you're going to make this happen. I'm like, oh, I was already seeing that it was going to happen. However, in reality, I wasn't seeing the answer to my prayers. I was crying out to God saying, God, can you hear me? God, do you even care? I was really disheartened that I wasn't getting any responses to any of the jobs that I was applying for. So I'm very much the type of person that likes control. I like things done at a certain time and if it's not done, I just try to make it happen on my own. God was really testing my patience and was really showing me that I need to surrender all that I have to Him. I have to surrender my own will to Him and that was a real struggle for me. So before 2017, while I was still at uni, I did my placement at a place that I really didn't want to do it at. Um, I had two choices and obviously God eliminated the one that he didn't want me to go to. And the whole time I was there, I was pretty much like, what am I even doing here? Like, what's the point of this? I was also working at Donut King. Not the greatest job in the world, but God had me there for his purpose. I had no idea at the time that our church was actually going to start a cafe. So God was actually using me while I was working there to actually get the skills and the understanding to then take to the church. And I didn't know that he was actually going to use me in that ministry. So God actually had me at these two places for his purpose. He was actually preparing me for something that I couldn't see at the time. As much as I resented actually going to that job and going to that placement, he was actually going to use that for me to get my job. So a month had gone on and I wasn't receiving any responses for interviews. Then it was February and I called the place where I did my placement and I asked if I could volunteer and they happily took me in the same place that I didn't even want to do my placement. So God was actually teaching me to be humble at that point. So two weeks into volunteering, my manager that I have now called me into her office and she was like, oh, I heard you're looking for a job. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, do you want to work here? And I'm like, yeah. So she asked me, have you done psychology? And I said, no. Then she asked me if I've at least done psychology units. And I'm like, no. She said, oh, it's okay. I believe you can do the job. She said, you're Christian. You're involved in the church. And she liked that because she was Christian herself. At that moment, I felt so honoured by God. I feel like the times that I had served in church, even though it may have been small, really God honoured me in turn. So I really encourage anyone who is serving to serve faithfully. Sometimes I felt like my input was very small to church, but for God it was big. God honours those who honour him. So this conversation happened in February. Then the months went on and I wasn't getting called in for an interview. So I was like, you know what, maybe this place doesn't want me. And then I just started doing the same routine. 
applying for jobs left, right and centre. Except this time, I was getting called in for interviews and I was even offered a few. And the times that I was actually offered a few, that's when I prayed to God. None of the jobs were the types of jobs that I was praying for. So I kind of got over it and just accepted a job offer. And I was meant to start on Thursday that week. So then I get called on Monday from the place that I'm volunteering at. That had semi offered me a job, but there wasn't much progress on it. And they wanted me to come in on the Wednesday that week. I was like, really God, out of all the times that this could have happened, any day in those six months you chose the day before I'm supposed to start another job. So before I went in for the interview on Wednesday, I prayed and this prayer was different to the ones that I had been. At this point, I was like, God, if it's in your will for me to have this job, let it be done. Because if it's in your will, nothing can stop me. If it's in your will, you will make it happen in the most supernatural way. I also said, God, I need some instant confirmation because I'm about to start another job on Thursday. So I go into this interview on the Wednesday and I felt such a peace, one that I hadn't experienced at any other interview. I kind of felt confident, which isn't something that I really associate with myself. So after the interview, I went out, had lunch, got to the station. This was in a matter of half an hour. I get to the station and I get a text message and it's my volunteer supervisor telling me that I got the job. So that was the instant confirmation that I needed. So the job I have now, I'm so grateful for. God literally answered every single part of my prayer. I asked for a job that had a good salary. This one has it. I asked for a job that had godly influences and a good manager. My manager is Christian and during meetings and everyday talk she will always go on about having a servant's heart. She will bring these biblical principles into everyday talk that I've actually grown in my relationship with God and I feel like I've changed as a person because when I see her I go okay that's what it means to be godlike. And about 80% of my workplace is actually Christians. So to have that kind of influence, for God to be a normal topic in the workplace, it just baffles me. And I just am so grateful and thankful to God that he, he has honored me and he remained faithful to me even when I wasn't faithful to him. So the job I have now, I'm actually underqualified for. And the fact that I'm not even qualified for it just shows that when God is in the midst, he makes the impossible possible. The lessons that I've learned through this journey, I know will stay with me because I can see the changes in my own life. And I know there's still improvements to be made, but I know with where he has me, I know I will get to where he wants me to be. God remains the same and his promises remain the same. So often we think we know what we want and we think we want it at this time but God's timing is far greater than what you think you know. He wanted me to put my trust in him. God's ways are not our ways and his thoughts are way beyond what our humanly thoughts could be. I thank God for God's will and purpose in my life. I thank him for the plans that have been fulfilled in my life. God was really in the process of changing me as a person. He wanted me to transform in the six months that I was struggling. It was important for me to learn that I need to surrender my own will and just say, God, let your will be done in my life. I'm so grateful that he heard my cry. He answered my prayers in ways that I couldn't even imagine. It was beyond my imagination. I thank God that I serve a supernatural God because if I didn't, 
I definitely will not be in the place that I am today. It's only through him that I am where I am and that I'm succeeding in life because I have Christ in me.